What's going on, everyone? It's Anthony Aiken Jr. Today, I am reacting to Miss Americana Taylor Swift documentary, and you will be watching along with me. So I came a long way from folklore, being a Swifty lover, understanding that Taylor Swift's reputation and who she actually is is two different things. Despite my favorite album of all time, losing to 1989, despite everything that I read, it is now time to let Taylor Swift speak now and for me to be fearless and understand Taylor Swift as a person. Okay, let's begin. The home decor is very Taylor, brick walls. You know we have a cat. What's the cat's name? I want some character development with the cat. My name's Cat. Oh, like the animal. What's that supposed to mean? Is his name Bolt? Like what's good? It's a lot of damn books. When I was 13, and it says, my life, my career, my, my dream, my reality. Like I had a glass quill with like an ink jet. The way she just looked at the camera, had an ink jet, nice little quill. Oh! You know, my entire moral code as a kid and now is a need to be thought of as good. That's dangerous. That's not, that's dangerous for you. Do the right thing, do the good thing. And obviously I'm not a perfect person by any stretch. I wonder if that's why it's titled Miss Americana, because I do remember at one point Taylor Swift was the golden child. That I did remember. Even when I was listening to hip hop, we all knew Taylor was the it girl. And now it seems like Taylor doesn't care anymore. She seems like she's just who she is and you're gonna like it or you're gonna hate it. A multi-talented performing artist from Reading, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Taylor Swift. You know, one of my first memories of country music was when I was six years old and my parents took me to see Leanne Rhymes in concert. Guitar! I am happy! <laughs> Our Christmas is around the corner. Get your kids a guitar. See what they could do. I've been trained to be happy when you get a lot of praise. Who's gonna listen to her CD today? No one's going to be watching this because it's my home video, but right here, look at that. Look at that, 60. That's actually very inspirational because she's number 60 on the Billboard charts with Tim McGraw. And now anything that she drops is instantaneously going to be number one. I became the person who everyone wanted me to be. When I was younger, I never had that urge to seek approval because it never happened in the first place. My kindergarten teacher asked me to stand in front of the classroom and say the alphabet and I had to use the bathroom. So, you know, I had to do what I had to do. Wait a minute. Like, I think I was on M, N, like it was the middle of the alphabet. How, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that. Like you didn't just say what you just said. And you know, from there on out, man, it's just, you know, people don't look at you the same. You should see the things we do, baby. Ooh, in the middle of the night. I love you Check out my reaction to Reputation Tour Live if you haven't. Jam out with me there. Everybody was so happy watching it. She looks like she's on cloud nine right now. Nice. I didn't realize how tall Taylor was. Trying not to think about you calling me with Grammy nominations. I know, well, I'm trying to get the full, the big categories of album, record, song, um, you are not nominated. This is, you know what, like, this is fine. This is, yeah. I just need to make a better record. Well, Reputation is a great record. 
No, I'm making I'm making a better record. I can't lie, hearing this is a little bit bittersweet because you love the confidence. She's like, I'm going to make a better record. But at the same time, Reputation was a great album. So I hope she doesn't feel like that album was some sort of letdown because an award is not going to validate it, but it doesn't matter. You know, the nominations actually come out for the 2021 Grammys ceremony. It doesn't matter. Because fuck them, that's why. Taylor. And then you say that you'll never find another like me. I know this song. Maybe that's the fun of me. Da -da 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 -da. No, I don't have no idea. It's really cool. You like it? Yeah. That's so dope to me because that's that's a great song. I heard that song on the radio. And, or maybe it was at a game. I just love seeing Taylor like on the piano, kind of like constructing songs, like those behind the scenes, making the songs for reputation that y'all sent me. I love seeing stuff like that. Like I could watch a whole documentary just wanting and longing for how artists like write lyrics, hear a song, figure out a melody. And this is the bullshit on the phone. <laughs> Talk your mess. I'm the only one of me. Who are you? Okay, turn up. Who are you? Okay, Taylor. Talk your mess. Ain't no other lover. If you want to be my lover. Everybody in music has their own sort of niche specialty thing that they do. My storytelling is what it is for me. I, I, I know that without me writing my own songs, I wouldn't be here. Everyone always asks, like Anthony, what was it about Taylor as a, a fan of, you know, different types of music now, hip hop, R&B, jazz, pop. What was it about Taylor that made you, mm. and for me, it was the storytelling. When I listen to Folklore, when the last great American dynasty came on, I was in awe. Later on in the week, I'll be coming out with a video where I'll be doing a deep dive on the song Seven. Sweet tea in the summer, cross your heart, won't tell no other. And though I can't recall your face, I still got love for you. We can leave the Christmas lights up till January. There is an element to my fan base where we feel like we grew up together. Kind of kind of like they're reading my diary. This is a song I wrote yesterday. It's about a girl who's just different. And I really like it because it's just so happy. <laughs> I have to be honest with you, this song was seriously finished five minutes ago. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I just finished it five minutes ago, so... Let's watch the tide change the waves into the sand why is Taylor Swift flexing on us like that? Like, my whole childhood no longer makes sense. Taylor Swift said, hey, everyone, I'm only 13 years old, but I wrote this song five minutes ago. Happy, happy, happy. What did you do when you were nine? Go around the room. I started playing guitar and wrote a couple songs, and I've written 150 songs and written every song on this album, so I came up with the concept for it in math class my freshman year. You know, I've had a single out now for about a month. Tell me you want to hear a song called Team McGraw by this girl named Taylor Swift. When I was in ninth grade, I failed Spanish by two points. Put those Georgia stars to shame that night. Sixteen-year-old girl released her debut country music album and dreamed of making it big. And my family for moving to Nashville so that I could do this. You have changed my life. I was riding shotgun with 
it, but here I'm down in the front seat of this car. But when you're living for the approval of strangers, one bad thing can cause everything to crumble. Now I feel like there's something bad that's about to happen because she just said one thing could make you snap. Taylor Swift. I'm scared to watch, even though I know the outcome. I always dreamed about what it would be like to maybe win. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. I haven't watched this in years. I remember this moment though. I remember watching the VMAs. It was a school night. The VMAs used to always come on on like Sunday night. So I had school the next day. Everybody was talking. Yo, y'all seen Kanye? Hey, y'all come look at this. The way Kanye, with that haircut, just like hands back the mic, does the Michael Jordan shrug, and goes back to his seat. That, that, I, that, that is blasphemous. That is blasphemous. Why? Just won the award, and then I was really excited because Kanye West was on the stage. Were you a fan before? Yeah. It's Kanye West. You know, I just, I don't know him, and I don't want to start anything because I just... You know, I had a great night tonight. President, President Obama, Obama calling, calling Kanye, Kanye West, West a jackass. jackass. So I could name you 10 or 15 people that he, he wouldn't have gone, gone up there and taken that mic away from. That's right, you wouldn't take that mic away from 50 Cent. You wouldn't take it away from 50 Cent. That 50 Cent was staring you down. <laughs> and, uh, uh, yo, Dr. Phil? You know, I'm not going to sit here and act like his music wasn't phenomenal. He is one of the greatest musicians of all time. That's like... Hey, 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 hey. Throw that. You put that back. I don't have a reason to follow him. You know, I don't agree with his views on a lot of stuff. So therefore, I don't follow him on social media. I do not keep up with Kanye at all. I don't try to. It's just ugh. the reality of the situation is he was wrong. At the time, I didn't know they were booing him doing that. I thought that they were booing me. The whole crowd booing is a pretty formative experience. That was. That was it. My life had never been better. I had one album of the year at the Grammys for a second time, which I never thought was a possibility. Top of damn handshake. Oh God, that was all he wanted. I want to thank the fans for the last 10 years. I didn't have a partner that I climbed it with. I had my mom. I always love my mama. She's my baby girl. You know, that's, that's very well said. You know, she's saying, I got to the top of the mountaintop, right? Which, you know, for someone who, again, her mindset was getting that approval, getting that recognition. 1989 was the perfect pop album. She went on a run, Blank Space, Bad Blood, Style, Out of the Woods, Wildest Dreams. Michael Jordan had to deal with that. Michael Jordan and Taylor Swift are, are kind of alike in some ways, where it's just like Michael Jordan was always seeking approval and seeking to be loved, and he got it. But then he got to a certain point where that wasn't good enough, and people started to turn on Michael Jordan. And when Michael Jordan won his third championship, it's, I guess, the same thing as Taylor winning, you know, a Grammy for 1989. It's like, what, what else is next? We do exist in this society where women in entertainment are discarded in an elephant graveyard by the time they're 35. Everyone's a shiny new toy for like two years. The female artists that I know of have reinvented themselves 20 times more than the male artists. They have to. Be new to us, be young to us, but only in a new way and only the way we want. I don't know, like as I'm reaching 30, I'm like, I wanna work really hard um, while society is still tolerating me being successful. Okay, so she just said a whole lot and exposed a whole lot about the industry, you know? When it comes to women, specifically in the music industry, but really, if we're being real, it's in all industries, period. You know, there's just a lot that women have to go through to get that equal pay or get that equal recognition, and they'll get bored with you so quick 
the moment. And, and that's why I don't know if y'all seen, but like I'm thinking in my head, like, wait, this sounds like a song. And it reminded me the last album I reacted to from Taylor was Red. And there was one song, I can't remember the title, so forgive me, but there was one song where she was talking about another musician. Can't remember the musician. I think it was Joni Mitchell. But she was mentioning like the Rose Garden and Madison Square Garden and how, you know, Taylor became the new one on the market that everyone loved. And they're kind of kicking this one to the curb a bit. And that's just kind of the rotation. Like that's what the industry is looking to do. And I resonate with this a whole lot because I feel like in the entertainment industry, if you are a woman or if you are a person of color, you simply cannot get away with the bare minimum. You always have to go above and beyond, you know, even myself included with being creative as well. Like I always feel like you have to do the extra just to get what somebody else gets just the way it is. Private jet, private jet, fly, fly, fly. Oh yeah, we got the food on deck. Not the steak. <laughs> no, no, you're on your forehead. Yeah, well, I don't know either that or the lap. All you had to do was move, move your arm. So grab the plate with the fork, move your arm, and then use your your forearm to hold the damn plate together. <laughs> Exactly what mom decided to do when both of her kids were out of the house. She decided to get a third child. It's actually my cancer goal to do something I'd always wanted to do, which was get a, a really big dog. That's happy that worked out for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You had <laughs> I'm sorry. Taylor looking like, damn, this got deep. Like, I don't know if y'all can say the same thing, but like, I know with my parents, like, it'll be like we have a group chat. So we'll all be texting in the group chat. You know, we could be talking about anything like, hey, like I'm hungry. What, what are we going to eat today? Like, what are y'all in the mood for? You know, and then out of nowhere, like my mom or my dad will drop the, the worst news in the world. Like something very sad happening. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Really hard for me because she's my favorite person. It woke me up from this, this life where I used to sweat all these things. For me, it's my family and my friends. Perfect thing to hear during Thanksgiving, man. One of my favorite J. Cole songs, Love Yours. There's beauty in a struggle, ugliness in a success. Taylor Swift is over party was the number one trend on Twitter worldwide. Do you know how many people have to be tweeting that they hate you for that to happen? Okay, so pretty much there, that was during the whole Kim Kardashian, Kanye West phone call. We're people who got into this line of work because we wanted people to like us, because we were intrinsically insecure, because we liked the sound of people clapping because it made us forget about how much we feel like we're not good enough. It just feels like it's more than music now at this point. And just most days I'm like, okay, but it just gets loud sometimes. Nobody physically saw me for a year. And that was what I thought they wanted. And I think what Taylor learned from this all is that seeking approval and seeking to be loved by everyone is still going to end up in some people being complete assholes. It just is what it is. Like I can't, I could, I could probably sugarcoat this to make it sound beautiful and make it sound nice, but that just literally is what it is. Brought a knife to a gunfight. It took the crown, but it's all right. All the liars are calling me one. I had to deconstruct an entire belief system for my own personal sanity. I also was falling in love with someone who had a really wonderfully normal, balanced, grounded life. Taylor Swift literally just said the same exact thing. She had to deconstruct from that mindset because that mindset is going to tear you down completely. We wanted our relationship to be private. How adorable. I'm single. Oh. <laughs> I, I tend, tend to, to get, get triggered, triggered by something, something whether, whether it's a picture of me where I feel like, like I looked like, like my, my tummy, tummy was too big, big or... or 
I thought that I was just like supposed to feel like I was going to pass out at the end of the show or in the middle of it. Now I realize, no, if you eat food, have energy, get stronger, you can do all these shows and not feel it. And I did exercise a lot, but I wasn't eating. I'm proud that she added this in there, you know, and uh, just to let other people know, like, hey, if you're going through this, you know, your favorite artist, uh, Taylor Swift, is, is going through it, too. And, you know, she's trying to get through it. You could try to get through it. And y'all could try to get through it together. So I like that she added this in there. I'm so proud. Thanks. I'm taking this shit bag of shit they gave you. Oh, oh, baby. My team's really not happy with me right now. All I've talked about for the last couple of months is the election in Tennessee. No, no man in my organization or in my family will ever understand what that was like. Yeah, but this is on the home front. And also, back in the presidential election, I was in such a horrendous place. Taylor Swift comes out against Trump. I don't care if they write that. I hate, oh, uh, these, these two dudes, I don't know who they are, they're pissing me off because it's like, this reminds me of when they be telling like athletes to shut up and dribble. Just sing and be quiet. Don't piss nobody off, sing. I need to be on the right side of history, Kill, and if he killer. doesn't win, then at least I, I, at least I tried. It really is a big deal to me. She votes. She thinks that that if you're a gay couple, or even if you look like a gay couple, you should be allowed to be kicked out of a restaurant. It's really basic human rights, and it's right and wrong at this point. That right there can sum everything up. There's right or wrong. This was a situation of right or wrong, where you want the right side of history, wrong side of history. I agree. 100%. So we'll move on. This was me celebrating when the news broke out. Okay. Y'all see the hoodie? Y'all see the hoodie? New vice president alert. You dig what I'm saying? We out here today. Oh, yeah. It's a good day. It's a good day. Oh, I tried to practice my songs, but I completely psyched myself out and broke down crying. I don't know if I can do this. Relax. I can handle it. I'm young. I'm talented. They'll see it in me. I've got to hang on. Okay, everyone, that was Miss Americana. Whenever I watch a documentary like this, I simply feel inspired, you know? So I needed to watch something like this, bro. I've been kind of like up and down recently, uh, but up for the most part because, you know, the holidays are around the corner. My birthday just passed. I feel great, man. I feel motivated. I want to get all my dreams accomplished. And I hope you do too. And we could do this together. So I hope that y'all feel some sort of positivity, um, great energy from this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you're new, like as well. And if you are around, this week, if you're interested, I will be coming out with a video really talking about some of the secrets that I think I kind of uncoded uh, with some of the songs from Folklore. And one of them will be Seven. Um, I think that video will come out either Thursday or Friday, like I said. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout. Put post notifications on so you can get notified when that drops. Hey, you. Follow me on social media, Anthony96JR. And as always, with my videos, we end off with a hug. I get whiplash low I kick bad habits at the kickback though In other words, I tick my ex like tic-tac-toe It's a trick, silly rabbit, where the kids at, yo? I can reminisce, I'm so naive And in love with the leaves and seeds that grow trees And the doves and believe she a demogorgon creature to love I'm covering my heart with the sleeve and the glove Stranger things three, then she leave when I'm up We all about the money, now we sleep and we fuss For the love of money, for a milli I'll be down, I'll be sure to kill them demons like a Millie Bobby Brown